Hi folks, welcome back to Skyblock. Um, now, as you will remember, or you may or may not remember, last episode we managed to get a single villager, and you might have seen that it's trading locked, or, well, this trade lock. Oh, look at this. I just ate there while in the inventory. That was very strange. Uh, but anyway, this trade locked, and this is the like the primary trade because it's the only way I have of obtaining emeralds, and as it happens, I've got no other emeralds at the minute. Oh. That's not where the ladder is. Um, I do, or I did, spend a lot of time grinding, and I got another golden apple, which we will be using to get a hold of another villager, hopefully what, uh, a farmer one, because I think that's what you need uh, to breed him up. So, or one of the farmer variants, anyway. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be trying to... Uh, just obtain one of those and hopefully make a villager breeder. Uh, I found a design online that doesn't require a lot of dirt, uh, so we're going to work on that. Uh, and yeah, we're going to use this mob system since it's like the only one that's really uh, active at this point in time. And it's going to take a lot of time, but hopefully we can um, get it sorted. Uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll just wait here. I killed off the chickens, by the way, because I do want to try and get another cow. We've only got one cow. Uh, we've got, like, four pigs, three sheep. If I got one more cow, I would be satisfied. Um, so we're just waiting for a cow. Uh, hopefully we'll get one. Okay, so I managed to get a hold of a villager zombie and a witch. So what we're going to do now is we're hopefully going to get the witch to hit me with a weakness. That was poison. Which is alright, because it heals up the zombie. It's not good for me, though. Whoa, 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 chill, chill, chill. I'm not too enamoured about dying, based on the fact I've got, like, 98 levels. Not that I can really do anything with them. That's more poison. That's another one of those. Come on, come on, weakness, weakness. Okay, I need to run off for a moment. I need to heal up. So we, we we managed to get it once before. Oh, what? Oh, shoot. I forgot to get the, uh, the gapple. Okay, so the villager zombies held on to the, uh, the block. What I really want to do is run off now. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Right, okay. Do, do I have the golden apple? Oh, there's the golden apple. Don't know what it's doing in there. Oh, wait, wait, there it is, there it is, there it is. There we go. Nice. Alright, now, it would be nice to get rid of the witch. I'm almost dead, I'm almost dead. There we go, we got the got rid of the witch. Zombies should still be shaking. Unfortunately, it's a nitwit villager. Um, I don't think we've got to get a farmer. Uh, because the villager breeder I'm planning on making is more of a manual one. Uh, we almost died there, actually. So, I think we should be okay if we just... Get any villager. Uh, but I've heard rumour that we might have to get another villager. As in, like, one after this one. So that's going to be a bit of a pain. But, we'll just have to grind a bit more, won't we? Right, well, we'll wait for this guy to transform. Let's head up. Lots of stuff here. I'm really interested in the gold armor that I've been getting. Whoa, what the heck? Almost got knocked off there. That was um, thorns one would assume. Look at that. We got a clean chest plate as well. But yeah, we've got a lot of gold armor here, which is good. I really, I really want a zombie to drop a looting sword. That would just be, like, ideal. Hey! So we've got another villager here, which is good. Um, hmm. Just need to figure out a way of moving this guy. Probably via a uh, boat. Let's pick this up. I'm really hoping we get more animals out over there. Um, right. Let's put that away. Let's get all of that. So yeah, we need another eight ingots to get another villager. It's not going to be easy. Hopefully we can do it. Uh, there is our trusted boat. Trusted with the mission of 
moving this guy. We'll move him over to... Hmm. Not quite sure, honestly. Uh, but what we will do is we'll just make a quick perimeter so the guy doesn't escape. That would be a calamity. Uh, Alright. There's no way for the guy to fall in here, right? Does it look like it? Alright, here we go. So if we get rid of all that... This guy's now able to get out. Oh! Flip. That was... No! No! I don't have... No, he's dead. That's a nightmare. He's still alive. Oh, he's still alive, just... He's probably got basically no health. Uh, there's still an opening up there, though. Oh, I don't believe that. The creeper must have seen me. Whoa, no, 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 no. Okay, right, we'll just have to trust that it's okay now. Oh, I was such an idiot there. Uh, let's place down the boat. This guy's not going to get suffocated. And we're just going to drive. I do have um, health potions. Uh, the one issue is, <laughs> they're not splash. So, yeah, that's not so good. Uh, we might as well start building the, uh, the thing. So, I guess I will take a look at the tutorial and get started. Now, the one thing the tutorial does use is glass. I don't have any glass. Well, I've got the ability to make one piece of glass, but that's obviously no good. So I'm going to try and adapt it slightly. We're going to need to waste some of our iron on iron bars. I think we'll use snow for this. Got quite a bit of it. All right, well, hopefully that guy is safe. Uh, we're just going to build the breeder out here, I reckon. So, we'll chuck it here. And we'll build out... As far as we can. Just to get it away from the mainland. As you can tell, this island isn't like the most aesthetically pleasing thing, but uh, we can work on it. I always say that and I never do, but functionality is really what we're going for here. Uh, right, we'll go out as far as here, I reckon. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to place down a piece of snow. So we need to do five along here, like so. And then we need to do another one, two, three, four. And really just make a square, which has a three by three uh, inside of it. Now I am going to need a bit of a bucket uh, of water in order to place blocks underneath. So we're just going to get this. The good thing is even if we lose the bucket, we're still we're going to be okay because we've got enough iron to uh, replenish it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to place down loads and loads of blocks underneath. Uh, like so. We missed one there, but we could sort that after. Let's get out of here before we drown. And then we'll just uh, add blocks like that. So that is good. Actually, we want to place a block here, I reckon. We'll build this up a bit more. Now the issue is we need glass, as I said. We're not going to get that. Uh, so, what I'm thinking is... Well, let's have a bit of an opening here. We're just going to have to use snow, obviously. Um, well, we don't need that water source just yet. Uh, so we'll put something there. Uh, let's add another layer of snow on. Hopefully snow will be okay. And then I think we're going to have to get the iron bars now. So let's go and craft some. There we go. That's all we're going to have to use. The good thing is we get like 16 iron bars, so it's not a complete waste. Oh, fences would have worked as well. Um, I just for, I just thought about that there. Well, they might not have. I think iron bars are closer to glass panes. So we'll just go with that. Then we're going to place a single source block of water there. Then I think we just place uh, snow on top like this. Again, glass is mainly used. I think glass is used just so you can see what's going on. Um, but hopefully snow will be okay. Alright, let's get ourselves a snowball. We're going to try and move this guy. 
I'm a bit too wary about moving him over the or into a too high area there just because he might fall off. So what we'll do is we'll we'll put it here. You know, mobs might spawn. I'm gonna run. Hopefully no zombies spawn while I'm away. There is loads of mobs at the minute in the mob system, so hopefully the mob cap is reached. Basically one hit and that guy's dead. Can't think of any other way of healing him. Okay, can we move this guy? What? How can we not use snow on this guy? It was working earlier. There we go. Ah, oh, you just had to go into the wrong corner. Right, there we go. In you go. He goes up. There should be no way for him to get out here. And uh, now we just need to wait for him to come over here. Alright. Uh, if we place that there. Oh, there we go. Oh, let me pass, let me pass. No. Oh, I fell in. This just could not go any better. There we go. Alright. And now we just need to move the guy into there. Easier said than done, as proven quite expertly by myself. There we go. Let's knock him in. Hey! Well that was painful. Um, right, we better leave this system in place so that we can then go and hopefully get the other villager in. Alright, so we do have a bit of a villager house here. This is now going to get... Uh, oh, thank goodness, I thought he was gone. Oh, he's, he's just... He, he rushed out. He was so excited at his uh, temporary freedom that he's uh, he's just rushing out the door. Alright, back we go. So unfortunately we're still not going to be able to trade because the village we've got is a, obviously a nitwit villager. But, you know, it's uh, it's progress at least. And as I said, I don't think you need a farmer for this design. Uh, the guy that did the tutorial, he didn't use a farmer or a shepherd or any of those sorts. Uh-oh. We need to make sure this guy doesn't drop out. Uh, Alright, this could end badly. Cool. Let's get that on our bar. Do we have any snowballs? Yes we do, we've got nine. Let's just snowball them down. There we go. Easily done. And he's at the right wall, actually, which is pretty good. Just knock him in like that. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to give the priest a bit of a hit, or the, the cleric, sorry, a bit of a hit. There you go. Opposite corners. Seems to have worked fairly well. Now we just need one more villager. Um, and we do need a lot of crops, so what I think we're going to do is we're going to work a bit on uh, an automatic crop farm. Um, I'm going to have to go get the tutorial up, but it's one that Etho did many years ago, or he used many years ago. Oh, that was... I I, I did that on a whim, but thankfully I survived it. Uh, we'll just leave it set up like that. These guys should be okay, but we're not going to leave anything to chance. I'm going to go and get some torches, and we're just going to uh, light that place up. And we've got to fix this bally thing as well that caused me all the problems in the first place. Something always has to go wrong, doesn't it? Oh, hello. Right, is that good? I think we got it sorted. Except for that block there, but we can work on that. There we go, that was scary. Um, yeah, I heard, a, I heard the skeletons start to fight and that posed me a big, big, big problem. So I decided all we had to do was just uh, get rid of them. So, we've got 20 redstone it looks like, which is actually very, very good for Skyblock anyway. And let's get this back open. Okay, well, to build this thing, we do need to have a few dispensers, which is good, because I happen to have <laughs> a fair amount of bows, so let's go and get some of those. 
Uh, that's armor. There we go. So we'll just uh, craft a few of these. In fact, you know what? To get rid of as many as possible, I'm just going to use the uh, the lesser durability bows. Okay, so we've got the bows. Let's make the dispensers. Uh, oh yeah, we can only make one at a time because <laughs> it requires the bows. There we go. Uh, we also need some stone because I think we need repeaters as well. Uh, where are we going to build this? I reckon I'll build it over by the uh, the villager breeder just because it makes most sense. Let's hop over. Alright, another thing we're going to be doing is hopefully getting some slime because I do believe we will need some slime balls for uh, sticky pistons. Sorry about that. It's <laughs> the, the greatest um, ink sac farm in the world is taking my gaze. Yep, there we go. It's still working. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to have to go up here and hope that a few slimes spawn. We do need a bow, actually. There's one. Oh, we need to get down there. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. This should be okay, hopefully. We might as well get as many slime as we can, simply because we, we, we need to take the opportunity while we're here, while the slime farm is enabled. It's quite funny, I was going to build a, a really big slime farm, but uh, there's no need when you just, when, when rates are this good and you just come down and kill them like this. Is that good? 18. Should be enough, hopefully. Uh, oh, there's another one. 19. Okay, here we go. We've got the uh, outline for the farm right here. Uh, let's just hop down. I don't have everything on me that I need, but we can at least make a start. So this is a crop farm, as I said. It can You can actually use this to grow cocoa beans as well. Um, but obviously we can't do that on the basis that we don't have any of those things. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to quickly construct a repeater. Hopefully we've got enough redstone. Uh, this isn't, it's not like important that we build this, but it would help a lot. Alright, there we go. We've got our clock going. That's good. Okay, now my plan is to use, uh, well, I think we'll just use a, a piece of wood there. We're supposed to use jungle wood there, but obviously we don't have jungle wood and we won't be able to grow cocoa beans. Then, we do need some more of those. We need another torch. Put that there. Uh, and we need, apparently, a pressure plate. Which we will put there. That there. Oh, we need another repeater. It's going to be close. I think we're going to run out, unfortunately. Oh, that's annoying. The, sh the repeaters really do use up a lot. So put that there. Put on a two tick delay. And then let's get rid of this real quick. Let's put that there. And yeah, we need more torch uh, more torches. Alright, here we go. The unfortunate thing is now we just need a piston and a amount of redstone. So we can either try to get a quick piece of redstone from a witch or steal the ones that come from the doors at the top of the first mob system. Uh, I I would rather not take apart any redstone. So we're just uh, any any existing redstone contraptions. I think we're just going to wait for a witch to come and drop some redstone. Okay, so we got our solitary piece of redstone, which I'm now going to use to uh, craft ourselves a piston. Of course, we do have the stickiness for the sticky pistons, also known as slime. So we'll be using them as well. Uh, let's see, piston, yep. And where's the stickies? There they are. Or slime, maybe that's too cringy. We'll just call it. We'll just call it slime. Uh, right. It appears that the piston actually goes here. And the let's see, we do need a piece of dirt. I just took one from the dirt farm, not the dirt farm. Sorry, the uh, tree farm over there. And then we need the dispensers. So we're just going to. Uh, let's see. How do how do these work? 
Okay, yeah, so the dispensers go here. Oh, not like that though. Yeah, one dispenser goes... Oh dear, I'm stuck now. Well, we can place two of them. In fact, we might be able to... Okay, I was going to say we might be able to get away with placing all of them. But I don't think so. I really want to dig straight down. Let's uh, let's not risk it though. We'll just do that. Uh, and then the final... Final... Repeater goes... There we go. So as you can hear, the... Well, you can see that the block, the dark block here is going up and down. You can hear the ticking of the dispensers. So now all we need to do is go and get some uh, bone meal. We've got plenty of that stuff. I think. Not bone meal, but we've got plenty of bones. Uh, now we could add some hoppers above them and then chests to store more. I think I might do that. Um, I'll see how much iron we've got and then I might add some dispensers because this is just another way of uh, you know storing lots and lots of bones or bone meal and it's also use for them which is good. I think we actually need to place a bucket of water uh, just over here and that way the block here will stay saturated. Uh, so that's that sorted. Let's go and maybe get some uh, potatoes or some carrots and see if it works. Just throw all that in there. Uh, yeah, we'll take a couple of each. And yeah, let's head back. So hopefully this works. This is hopefully going to be our, our main way of getting this stuff. Yep, there we go. Seems to be working pretty nicely. I'm getting more. It's it's a little harder to use than the darkroom trick, obviously. And it's obviously allowed and uses more, um, what do you call it, redstone. But that clearly works. Let's see if we can get this working. You need to do it exact. Yeah, you can't just hold it down as you saw there. It was just, there was one tatty that was bouncing around. Uh, but it's working now. And yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. Now let's head up here then. I'm going to oh, hop up here and feed them. Uh, should we give them all? Where's the carrots gone? There they are. And we'll try and give them all or half of that. Come on, you can pick that up. I really hope they picked it up. If they did, it's no big deal, but it's just, it'd be a bit of a nightmare if this thing didn't work after spending so much time trying to get it to work. Uh, so yeah, that is basically the farm. I will probably put a building over it. Well, I'll certainly try and add hoppers to it. We've used one iron already. We need five, 15 iron, sorry, if we're going to make the five, the three hoppers. Uh, we've got 11, uh, so we can work up towards getting three hoppers to uh, fund that project there. Um, but yeah, it works. Pretty happy with that. Uh, I guess my next mission is to get another villager. So, because this farm requires three, you need doors up there. In fact, we could probably do that now. We've got wood. We need eight doors. So that's three, six, nine. And we do need a block as well. So we'll just use that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up by eight blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like so. Then we're just going to create a bit of a cross here. And I've just think, well, no, I can get down. I was about to say, I've just figured out I can't get down, but I can um, if I dig down the, the way I came up. We then need to place a single block there, I think. And then we just need to place all the doors like that. I don't think it matters which way they go. Whoa, that is very, very sketchy. There we go. And eventually we'll have a villager up here. So now what we need to do is just hop down here, preferably a little bit further. And we'll come back to this later. Uh, oh, I don't have a spade, that is just brilliant. Uh, but yeah, my next task is going to be to get another villager, villager number uh, two, 
I guess, or villager number three, sorry, we've already got two. Um, and we're going to hopefully finish up this farm. Oh, you know what? I've just realised I keep forgetting to light this place up. Uh, let's get some torches. I feel like these guys are going to uh, die eventually. But we need to go up here and uh, make sure it's fully lit. Okay, so um, it's taken pretty much a whole day, but I finally managed to get A, another Gapple, and B, uh, another Witch and Zombie Villager. Unfortunately, I made a bit of a boo-boo and dropped uh, an extra mob in there, so that we've got a zombie in there. Uh, skeletons should be falling yeah, way up there. We should be good on that front. Um, but for now, we're going to try and get these guys out. Well, we're not going to let them out, but... Oh, there we go. Sup. Right. There we go. This is going to be so difficult. Oh my gosh. And the worst thing is, there's another zombie in there. Oh wait, that was... Wait, hang on. That was totally weakness she just threw. See look, they're weakened. Oh, I need to get past them now. Let's try and break these blocks. I don't want to get knocked off. Oh, hang on. No, apparently it's not. I don't want to, like, accidentally eat the apple. That would be a nightmare. Hang on. F3B. Can we we can't kill the guy, because the, the two zombies are within, like, the same distance of each other. They're within each other's hitbox, so there's no knowing who I would kill. But those particles are definitely weakness. Like, what other potion does a witch throw? Oh, there we go, that was weakness. There we go. And the bad news is we've got to kill the other zombie. We should be able to do that from here, right? My gosh, that guy keeps running to the front. I got poisoned for a few more. See, the thing is, once that guy changes, he's going to get killed instantly. Get me down here, get me down here. Alright. No, I shot the wrong guy. Come on. Yes. Alright, that's one guy down. Thankfully, they're not, they're not, like, in the same hitbox. We should be able to get the guy on the left. Oh my gosh. More arrows, more arrows. There we go. Jings, Criffins and help my bow. Mission successful. So, we've got ourselves our next villager. Which is good. This guy's going to go all the way up there. We'll stay with him for now. Hey, that's villager number three. And it's a cleric. So we could immediately start trading. But I'm not going to. Uh, we're going to instead go get a bow and get him into position. Now the problem is... You need to use glass, and I don't have any glass, so I'm going to spawn some. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm not sure what we can do, to be honest. I think we could use half... Should we just chance it with half slabs? Right, so basically you can't put any solid blocks up here. Now, I'm going to change this out with a jack-o'-lantern. Um, but what I was hoping to do was something like this. Ooh, man. Can we place a block there, maybe? No, I don't think we can. I think we need to get rid of that. Um, and yeah, we'll just keep building these half slabs around and then maybe what we could do is we could place a, uh, is there a, a sort of roof we could place to stop the villager from moving around. That would be ideal. But again, we're not allowed to place solid blocks up there, so we can't just use like stone or anything like that. We need to use well, maybe fences. We'll try fences, I guess. I should also add, before I forget, we did actually get some more cows, thankfully. So, we've got one of each of the types of animals, excluding chickens, but we do have loads of eggs. Unfortunately, we've only got one llama. Um, so, I think we're just going to roll with it. I don't need more llamas. One llama's fine, just to muck about with. Um... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all but one or two pieces of grass here and I'm going to distribute them amongst other farms. So mainly the tree farm, but also uh, I need to put the pumpkin farm somewhere else. I need to make a melon farm and there's also sugarcane to be grown. Um, but the good thing about the cows is 
we can now get leather for book sh uh, bookshelves, just for decoration. That's really all there is to them. Uh, again, I'm not sure how much uh, building, aesthetic building I'll be doing. Obviously, most buildings aesthetic, but you know what I mean. I, I don't know how much building I'll be doing this in this world, but we'll uh, we'll see. It's the options there. That's the point. The option is there. Right. So what I'm going to do now? Whoa, that was scary. The guy just floated over like Aladdin on his magic carpet. Uh, we need the bucket, the only bucket we have. You'd have thought I would have made more buckets by now, but unfortunately not. Um, I do have more signs. As you can see, I got all the hoppers here as well. So we've got all that filled with bone meal. So that should be good. Alright, here we go. So now, I'm just going to place the fences over the door like that. Now, if I'm, hang on, if I'm there, I won't be able to move about, will I? Yeah, no, I'm not. So we should be all right. Uh, let's add the jack lantern. We could add a glow, a piece of glowstone, to be fair. But I just thought, uh, yeah, jack lantern. I want to save the glowstone for the tree farm. Uh, so let's just apply the fences there. This will keep the villager in. Hopefully, it doesn't count as a solid block. If it does, whoops. Let's get this guy out of there. Don't fall through the void, please. Sorry for punching you. Although hopefully, it didn't do that much damage. Right, uh, you know what, actually, I've just realised that bit's open, and that is a, would it be a catastrophe. Alright, we've got a slight problem in that the guy's right in the corner. Yeah, I can see your trades there, mister, but you're in the worst possible position. I mean, it's not the worst possible position, but it's close enough. Alright, let's uh, hop down here. Come on. Oh. Yeah, he's not going up. We're going to have to, um, I don't know. Well, we need to... There we go. Boom. There you go. That's what I call MLG <laughs> villager moving. Alright. Unfortunately, right in the very corner, which is a tad annoying. Oh, come on, you can get out of there. Fishing rod, maybe? I don't have a fishing rod. There we go. Right. Into position, please. Not there. No, not there. Shoot. Um, let's try and get around. Darn it. Phew. There we go. Right. Boom. Can he get out? Uh, I'm pretty confident. I'm confident now to the point where I'm just going to like remove everything. Come on. Oh, we'll, we'll use the we'll use the the snowballs. No, he seems pretty stuck. Hopefully these don't do damage. I don't think they do. But you never know. Uh, right. Anyway, let's try and get rid of all of these blocks. We don't need them, or at least I hope we don't need them now. Uh, so the idea was, I don't think you're supposed to have any solid blocks within ten blocks of these upper sections of the door. Now obviously we've got fences up there, but I'm hoping that they don't count. That is what I'm bagging on. I am effectively uh, guessing, because glass is something that I do not uh, quite have access to. 